Hello everyone, today I will tell you about an amazing flying transport. But before watching, I ask you to like and subscribe to me, as it helps in developing the channel. Zapata Air Scooter is a personal vertical takeoff and landing aircraft being developed by the French company Zapata. The aircraft, weighing 115 kilograms and designed for one person, will be equipped with 12 air propellers and a hybrid power system. The air scooter will be able to lift a payload of up to 120 kilograms, reach a maximum speed of 100 kilometers per hour, and fly for over two hours. Zapata, founded by inventor Frankie Zapata, has been developing personal flying vehicles for over 10 years. Zapata's inventions include the flyboard water and air hoverboards, as well as the single-seater jet racer aircraft introduced in 2022. Its design resembles a quadcopter, with 10 compact turbojet engines acting as rotors and propelling the aircraft up to 200 km per hour. The new Zapata development, called the Air Scooter, also belongs to the class of personal flying vehicles. The exterior of the one-person Air Scooter resembles an egg on three supports, with a frame consisting of eight spokes on top, where 12 rotors are located. Two rear spokes are connected by a spoiler. Four large rotors installed at the ends of spokes are long and perpendicular to the axis of the aircraft rotate with the help of a hybrid drive, while the other eight smaller rotors have a fully electric drive and are located in pairs on the remaining four spokes of the frame. Thanks to the hybrid power system, the air scooter's flight time on a single 18.9-liter tank will be over two hours, which is advantageous compared to purely electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Another advantage will be the weight of the air scooter, which is only 115 kilograms. Because of this, for example, in the United States, the air scooter is classified as an ultra-light aircraft that does not require a pilot's license to operate. The company claims that controlling the aircraft will be as easy as controlling a drone thanks to automation and multiple safety sensors. There is currently no information on the cost of the aircraft or its readiness dates. Airbus pop-up. Airbus and Ittle Design have unveiled their joint solution to combat the predicted increase in traffic congestion by 2030, a multimodal passenger transport system called pop-up. The system consists of three main parts, an artificial intelligence system that manages everything, a capsule that connects to ground, air and other modules, such as trains or hyperloop, and a user interface that works in a fully virtual environment. The battery has a capacity of 15 kWh and can be charged to 100% in just 15 minutes. The total power of the two electric motors embedded in the rear wheels of the trolley reaches 60 kWh, 82 horsepower. According to the creators, Pop-Up can travel up to 130 km on the ground and reach a maximum speed of 100 km per h. For intercity travel, the capsule is disconnected from the ground module and connected to the air module, which is an electric quadcopter with eight propellers. Each electric motor develops 17 kW, 23 horsepower, and the total power reaches 136 kW, 185 horsepower. The journey of 42 km with a transfer between ground and air modules costs $52, or just over a dollar per kilometer. The system analyzes the passenger's mood, turns on the appropriate cabin lighting, and displays news as a projection on the glass. After completing the mission, the modules return to charging stations or accept the next order. While pop-up may seem like science fiction for now, quadcopters that have become commonplace were not so long ago. In addition, its environmental cleanliness is an important argument in favor of this type of transport. Pop-Up's creators believe that something similar could appear in real life as early as 2030. Urban Aeronautics City Hawk is an innovative flying transportation vehicle that boasts the advantage of not requiring specialized infrastructure for landing. Its design resembles that of a traditional car, which is uncommon in other vertical takeoff and landing concepts. In addition to the promise of transporting more people per trip, the biggest advantage of such vehicles may be the absence of the need for special landing infrastructure. According to CEO Nimrod Golan Yanai, where their competitors can land one aircraft, urban aeronautics can land four. This not only helps the company transport more people in limited space, 
but also means higher revenues. However, very few vertical takeoff and landing operators will have the ability to land their aircraft on rooftops and city streets. The City Hawk's design features no external moving parts that could increase risks, such as colliding with power lines during urban flight. The company's biggest leap, however, is working with hydrogen fuel cells instead of considering battery-powered electric propulsion. This is related to California-based High Point, which will store hydrogen in carbon fiber cylinders on the vehicle. Urban Aeronautics is confident that using this technology will give their powertrain 20 times the energy density compared to electric batteries. The City Hawk's projected noise level is 78 dB, which is acceptable for urban areas, according to the company. Urban Aeronautics aims to release its new version by early 2022. Avionics details are not yet disclosed. The basic version of City Hawk has already undergone several test flights. The vehicle promises a maximum speed of 270 km per hour, a payload capacity of up to 760 kilo and five seats for one pilot and four passengers. The City Hawk's design will feature four passenger seats, including a pilot seat. Additionally, City Hawk may receive automatic control technology that is already being tested on Cormorant. Urban Aeronautics plans to complete development within five years.